So hi guys, this is Ayat Ishak and you're watching Ahyat Property TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now let's drill down into the specific issues and announcement that was announced uh, during the budget 2015 um, recently. And we're looking into, we're going to drill down into the issues in the context of the property sector. And, and this really affects us, impacts us as property investors ourselves. Now we're going to look into all these five issues and we're going to look into the first one. So let me just put this up. And so we're going to look into the budget 2014. And now let's look into RPGT. Now, when we talk about RPGT, right, what is the RPGT? Well, basically it's some sort of uh, tax. Uh, well, well, what it means is it's real property gains tax and it's the tax that the government plays on the gains that we make from buying and selling property now uh, we're not going to look into it too uh, into too much detail you can do your research online but the next question is what was the announcements um, and what were the rpgt for locals right and well these are the new rates and a lot of people said you know it has returned to pre-2007 rates, but believe it or not, it's not true. It's even higher than the pre-2007 rates. So the pre-2007 rates were pretty much the rates that were listed in the, um, in the, the books of law, in the RPGT uh, law books. But now the government of the day has uh, declared, has announced an RPGT rate, which is much higher. But let's not talk about pre-2007, let's talk about last year and, I mean, this current year and the following year. So now, in the, in the beginning, okay, for that, I've got this wonderful website. And we're going to look into this savemoney.my. Thank you, wonderful, wonderful website, actually, a wealth of, of stuff that you can find here. And it's amazing how they had really broken it up to, to um, categories. And they've done nice infographics with that. So I really appreciate people who does this. And yep, we've come to the property sec section and it's in blue. Now, it's, it has really looked into this RPGT. I just, okay, I just expanded that a little bit more. So as you can see here from this year until next year, there's a double increase. That's just crazy, right? When you've got an increase of 100% or more. On the third year, there's 100%. You know that it's a serious thing. It's, it's a big impact. If, if, if taxes increase by double, the impacts are gonna, be, um, are gonna be quite obvious. And in another way, you could see that this big increase as, you know, this is, this is a real big signal that the government is, is trying to, uh, trying to solve the issue of speculation. And a lot of people ask me, I hear, what is RPGT? The next question you should ask is, why do they have RPGT? Because they do really want to curb property speculation. While it's great money for the government when you buy and sell property, the government can collect taxes, but the real purpose of it is to curb speculation. Now, I mean, we're gonna talk in the next video on the implications and the possibilities that's gonna happen in, in the market. But this is just how I'm feeling. It's, it's a big jump. It's double on the first year, double on the second year. It's triple on the third year, double on the fourth, um, double uh, almost, you know, 50% on the fifth year. And of course, the sixth year and beyond, it remains 0%. That means if you sell, sold your property on the sixth year, you, you're not uh, liable, uh, you, you don't get this RPGT. But coming to this, we're going to talk about the implications uh, in the next video. So, yeah, thanks so much for tuning in to Ahyat Prop TV. We'll see you guys in the next video. We're going to talk about the implications of the massive increase of the RPGT. Yep, so thanks so much. See you guys. Bye-bye.